Have you ever wondered why the price of a water bottle from a theater or a vending machine is so expensive? The real issue here is why are we paying such a price for something that is available at no cost? The cost of bottled water per gallon is nearly 3,000 times higher than that of tap water. So let us see how the ridiculous idea of bottled water has become the norm and some interesting facts about it. Bottled water is not something new. It's been around for centuries, but the brands and tastes have changed remarkably over the decades. But 50 years ago, the thought of buying bottled water would have seemed absurd. It's just like buying bottled oxygen. Recently, water has become a popular beverage, beating soda and coffee. Sales of these are higher than ever. Looking back on history, Jackson's Spa in Boston, USA, sold the first commercial bottled water in the year 1767. Visiting natural springs was very popular at the time. Drinking and bathing in the water were thought to have healing properties. Guests could shop for bottled water and bring it home. The increasing popularity of bottled natural spa waters has created a demand for the manufacture of mineral water through carbonation. In 1783, bottled water enjoyed a significant milestone when Johann Jacob Schwimpe invented equipment capable of carbonating water. This gave the water a fizzy quality that matched mineral water. It is fair to say that Schwimpe founded the world's soft drink industry. The Industrial Revolution of the mid-19th century introduced new sources of water pollution. Contaminated and untreated tap water caused typhoid and cholera, which led many Americans to spend on bottled water as a safer option. Bottled water was also popular as an image and status symbol. In 1908, methods of disinfecting water, such as coronation, were discovered as effective remedies to the typhoid outbreak. Bottled water started losing popularity. Until this point, the bottle was made of glass, which was relatively expensive and hard to carry. With the invention of polyethylene terephyletti PET bottles in 1973, which could hold fizzy drinks and recyclable, took their use to a new level. Bottled water didn't really take off in America until 1977. Perrier launched a successful ad campaign in the U.S., indicating a rebirth in popularity for bottled water. Perrier, with its signature small green bottle, targeted the sophisticated baby boomers. The sparkling water was promoted as a high-status, classy drink, with the tagline, Earth's First Soft Drink. From then to date, bottled water evolved into a billion-dollar industry, in 2021, it is valued at 283 billion US dollars. Here are some interesting facts. You may have seen water companies promoting their products alongside images of natural springs and ice-topped mountains, but many of them are derived from the tap, though they may be further processed and tested. In 2006, Fiji Water ran an ad joking, Fiji, because it's not bottled in Cleveland. The Cleveland Water Department didn't like the mocking and proved that tap water is safer because Fiji water contained the highest levels of arsenic and other contaminants when compared to tap water. The entire life cycle of bottled water uses fossil fuels, contributes to global warming, and causes pollution. So next time, when you step out, carry a reusable bottle filled with tap water. To make it safer, either boil the water or put on a filter. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. And don't forget to hit the bell icon.